Hello and welcome to my boat shed again. My name is Panu and I am building this 15 meter liveaboard cruising sailboat here in Finland. It's now late October 2023 and the project is going on nicely, I would say. In this video there will be some boat building, some foundation building, but probably mostly making insulation and office space into my boat shed. As you may know, I am quite north up here and it's already quite cold, as you may see from my clothing. So using epoxy in these temperatures in big scale isn't really possible. So I need to make insulation to my whole shed here <laughs> to be able to raise the temperature when needed for gluing the epoxy things. But before we jump into making anything else here, I'm today gonna laminate the last half of the last frame of the boat. That is, that, that, is, that is really exciting because yeah, it has been taking so much longer to make these frames. Not because it's slow, but because all the other things going on on the side here. But today the frames will be finally ready. So let's jump right in to make this last frame. And I promise that I won't be filming those <laughs> frame making that much because there is plenty of videos about that already here. I just want to show you some clips making this last one.
You know what? It's done. This was the last frame. Last lamination for the frames. That is... Actually doesn't feel anything right now. I'm just cold. I should have put another shirt underneath here. It's uh, slightly below zero already, so it's gonna be a cold night and I'm gonna put the insulated box over here again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and grab something good to eat and then head back home and do some paid work the rest of the week. Actually, I have one massive project that I should finish this week. So this was kind of a nice addition to that. But next couple of things that are here under work is this one, which is my office, insulated office box for me. So I can work actually in here. My workstation is over there. It hasn't been used in a couple of months because it has been too cold. This all material is for that office and over there that pile of plywood is for the pieces for the boat. I'm probably gonna this week grab some materials for the foundation for the boat. That feels good. Uh, we'll be back within this video in a couple of days. Small update from my current boat. This is the Lake Camel and uh, as you may know I converted this boat in the electric uh, four years ago. Well anyway the batteries that are in this boat have now been four summers in use and they kind of start to act up a little bit. So during coming winter I'm probably gonna change those batteries into lithium. Just a reminder let's take a look what kind of system this boat actually has. This is a 27 feet Fin Flyer 27 boat. It has front cabin, toilet up there, and then this saloon area, two beds, small galley here. Kind of nice boat, just the right size to these lakes here. And the electric motor system lives underneath the company way steps. Let me just get that off. Uh. right here so this is the electric motor of course there is four lead acid batteries back there they are starting to be a little bad already there is a charger and on this side there is 48 to 12 volt voltage converter 12 volt fuse box there is a 48 volt conductor and the motor controller is here. So this is basically all the systems you need for an electric bolt like this. Pretty simple and it has been working flawlessly. There is no issues whatsoever. So yeah, uh, if you're interested to see how I did this, there is I think eight or nine videos of converting this. Please remind that they are the first videos I actually did, so the quality may not be that good. but. I'm still quite proud that I did this and it has been worked so well. And uh, actually today one friend of mine is coming to the boat and we are testing wireless throttle control for this. So he's been building that kind of electronic system that connects with the Bluetooth to that throttle and uh, we can control the speed of the boat with remote control. That would be quite nice. After a week or so I've been sick with the my second COVID infection. As you saw, last week I managed to finish this frame 13 right behind here. And now I have to say that all the frames are done. And that is amazing. You can see the pile behind me there. So that kind of frees up quite a lot of my thoughts and energy to do other things. And I actually started a couple of those already. The first one is right in here. This P2 
piece on the floor. Uh, it's gonna be my office up there and uh, I actually started to dismantle the table already yesterday. But today I'm doing one test with the CNC and it is right here. Uh, I think I'll just run the program and we'll see how that comes. I forgot to put the board down onto the... Uh, so, let's change it this way. Try again. a test piece for those foundation plates and what I did was to make a slots for these M12 nuts. I have hundreds of these uh, from this frame manufacturing project and I was trying to make a few different sizes to test how they fit in here, how big slot I should make for these nuts and uh, I was afraid that if I do them exactly, they will be too loose, but uh, I don't think that's the case. Couple of tenth of a bigger slot and it's still quite tight. These should be even smaller, so yeah, they won't be fitting to those, but I think this will work just fine like that. And now I can put M12 bolt into this. If I had some... This looks okay. No, that's M10. Well, I don't have any M12 bolts currently here, but these are the rods I used with the frame manufacturing process. Now this <coughs> rod should just come right through, like so. Now we have a nut here, M12 bolt, and when I put this against the floor, that won't be going anywhere. There is more surface area with this bolt, and I have plenty of these nuts to use. So, this is the way to go. And I have to mention, in previous video, there were tons of very good comments against this method, uh, to support this method, and there were suggestions of other methods as well. And I want to say that the first idea making this boat here on the floor was to use self-leveling compound on the floor. But the reason I won't be doing that is that it turned out to be so expensive that it's just stupid to use that amount of money just for a temporary structure under the boat and then kind of rip it off. So yeah, it would have been thousands of euros. And that was that was kind of a surprise for me. I thought it would be a much cheaper option. And that's why I'm doing this secondary method, if you say so. But yeah, now that I know that this works, I can easily make these holes with CNC. I have already done all the planning for each of these boards. I need five of the full-size boards like this table underneath here to make all the parts needed make it under the boat. There will be several nuts and bolts on each of them. Some of them are actually quite large on the sides of the boats. We'll see about that in the very soon actually. But now it's Friday evening. This test was a success and uh, now I think I'm gonna continue with disassembling this table and do some work for the office space so that I can get it up and running soon as well.
Oh well, my old drill stopped working last week. I mean, half working, it just goes one direction. I can't open anything with that anymore. So I purchased a new one. This is a more fancier version of that. It has these changeable kind of things on there. It's brushless, more power. But yeah, it stopped working. Kind of doesn't do anything anymore. Ah, just my luck. Pretty important tool. I can't really do anything without one. I should take all these screws out and yeah, make that office and stuff. And yeah, I have several of these batteries already and I have two chargers for these and kind of I like the 12 volt system. These are quite compact and there's plenty of different tools I can use with these batteries. Yeah, this doesn't look promising. It should be professional. This is not actually very cheap. So yeah. But well, I think that's about it for tonight. I have to take this back to the shop. This is brand new. I re literally received this yesterday. So. <sighs> Next day, new try. Now the base of my office space, it is upside down, so now I need to take it up, move over there and flip it over and we'll see how that goes. There is this OSB board on the bottom that keeps the insulation from dropping, of course. There is some boards here to take it up a little bit from the floor and then there is these uh, sheets of plastic foamy stuff that keeps it separated from the concrete floor and if there's some water uh, it doesn't rot the boards there so yeah let's try to move this a little bit Here it is, right side up. Now I just need to make the walls. And one little detail is that I want to actually have this electric cabinet inside the room. So I need to kind of uh, fiddle this thing over there and through this pipe where all the cables are coming up. So that will require a little bit fiddling, but I think that's gonna work just fine. Then I need to purchase a window here. The door I already have. I got it for free basically, which is great, but now I need to have some kind of window here. It would be nice to see outside when I'm sitting in there. So I think now I'll start with the wall frames.
Well, that was a good progress for one afternoon. I got these two walls done. There's a doorway here. I ran out of wood. I need to get some more to make the two other walls and the roof. And I also kind of figure out how I'm gonna do that electric cabinet wall thing over there. Yeah, uh, I think that's enough for today. Tomorrow is Monday and day after tomorrow I will get my current sailboat out of, out of the water again. So I need to go tomorrow to figure all that out. So this will have to wait for later next week. Uh, next week's plans are also to get some material for the foundations. I have now all the CNC cut files ready to for go for that. So I think next week we're gonna continue with that, which is very exciting. This is kind of a side project, of course, but needs to be done so I can spend more time in here. A small detour. Today is the day that I'm gonna bring my current boat to the harbor and tomorrow we will lift it up for the winter so very nice day it's totally gray out here it's raining a little bit but not very cold fortunately so it's okay today's agenda is to move this boat to that harbor where we're gonna lift it up and uh, remove sails and stuff so not sure my camera might not be waterproof, so probably not gonna be able to film that much. But there's a nice mood here. Quite gray, but nice. Not very windy though. A couple of weeks ago when I was here, we did a test with the remote control for the motor. Unfortunately, I broke one of the wires of the potentiometer. That is my throttle knob so i needed to kind of make this bubble gum do that to use the motor today so i'm gonna fix it till next summer and probably i'm gonna change the batteries next spring so stay tuned for that but now i think i'll just get the ropes off and be on my way here okay this is a little bit difficult with the phone ah. yeah. here we go just short drive behind that peninsula over there and on the other side it's gray but it's quite beautiful actually little bit of motor sailing. There's a slight breeze from the side. No rush hour on the lake though. There's no one else here. By the way, in one video on Allering Arctic channel, they started the summer trip somewhere over there. While waiting the crane to come, I just want to point two things of my current sailboat. First one is the anti-slip on the deck. And this boat, it is super fine and all the dirt and sh** attached to it. It's very, very hard to keep clean. I don't know if you can see from the video, but there is kind of black stains all over and they won't come off with regular cleaning. Another thing that I have learned, there's plenty of kind of small gaps and places where it's very hard to reach with a brush or something else to clean them up. So yeah, those two things are things I don't want in my 
new boat and one thing is that integrated pressure washer it's a pretty good idea to have on board and that's that for today i hope the crane comes soon we can lift this boat up to the heart luckily it's quite warm today it's almost 10 degrees i would believe I was planning to end this video by start cutting the plywood foundation pieces for the boat. Unfortunately, I didn't get those plywood sheets because the place where I went to board them, they shut down earlier this Friday. So uh, I don't have those. But instead, I'm going to start cutting the actual pieces of the bulwark and the temporary pieces between. There's already one piece cut if you remember from the last video and then I'm of course continued making that office space for me thank you so much for watching special thank you for my patrons you kind of make it possible for me to invest in cameras and stuff so thank you so much and of course remember to subscribe for the channel if you haven't already then leave a like and if you have something to comment or whatever please leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video where we hopefully start finally, finally lay down the boat here on the shed. Bye-bye.